have made it my mission to address grievances in dealing with our nature and environmental protection to actively tackle them myself. Even though it looks picturesque here from the shore of the Greek island of Ithaca, beneath the surface, the oceans are struggling with enormous pollution. That's why I'm meeting with Veronica Mikos from Healthy Seas, who strives to combat this issue. Healthy Seas is uh, connecting marine protection to circular economy with uh, the help of divers and fishermen recovering uh, fishing nets. And thanks to our partners, these nets will become new products, uh, carpet, socks, swimwear, or carmets. Okay, wow, that sounds great. <laughs> Tell me, what is your mission? What is your task? So we are focusing on ghost nets, mm -hmm. which are accidentally lost or abandoned fishing nets in the seas, killing and catching marine life. And these ghost nets are plastic waste, which doesn't biodegrade. So with the help of divers and fishermen, we organize the collection and these fishing nets become nylon yarn, a new product. But with all this pollution in the ocean, do you think the work of healthy seas can really make a difference here? We cannot save the world alone, but we really want others to inspire to follow. So uh, we do the best we can. So you're about to enforce all your power to your project here in Ithaca. Why is Ithaca so important for you? Why did you come back to that island? In Ithaca we faced a huge problem we have never seen before. Here there are not pieces of accidentally lost fishing nets, but complete entire fish farm abandoned so-called ghost fan. So that's why we return here now. Veronica offers to drop me off at the local dive center to literally dive into the problems of the island. Together with Pascal, the experienced ghost net diver, I will go to an abandoned old fish farm right in front of the bay to take a look at the underwater pollution. The ghost nets amaze me because due to their surface treatment, they are virtually unvegetated and almost untouched, simply unable to be integrated into nature. There was a fish farm here more than 20 years ago, so we went there for a dive and indeed we found the fish farm still down there. The fishing farm is gone, but the problems are still here? Exactly, the fish farm company left, but the actual fish farm on the surface is just sunken down and still down there. What is the main problem on these fishing nets? A fishing net is still doing what it's designed for, so it's still catching marine life, and, okay. but that without purpose. And so it's pollution when it's left behind on the bottom. Would you say you stop the cause or do you just work on the symptoms here? Um, we work on the symptoms. It's not that we can stop the cause, but step by step, we can show the problem to the public, and that's actually very important. So we just saw these massive nets out there. Please tell us, how will you get them out of the water? Well, when we just had a dive, there will be a cleanup soon. So why don't you just uh, join Veronica and go to the fish farm spot and watch while they are cleaning up? Yeah, awesome, okay. Together with Veronica, I return to the dive site to get an idea of the efforts Healthy Seas and its helpers are making to stop pollution underwater. As peaceful and pure as the bay presents itself, at the sight of all the divers, supporters and the big cleaning boat, I have a clear suspicion of what is about to await me here. Can you imagine all this has been for almost 30 years on the seabed? So we are facing here a problem never seen before with health and partners returned to Ithaca to remove ghost farms which are polluting our environment. Several organizations are working together here, so ghost diving, uh, 20 volunteer divers, all together with locals, uh, the local fishermen community, NLE, our partners, which is a fishery school in Greece. They all work together uh, under the auspice of the Ministry of Environment and the Ministry of Shipping. So we really managed to bring together partners from different sectors to make this project happen. Okay, great. And what happened to all these nets after you have pulled it out from the sea? This is not the end of the story. The fishing nets will get a second life. 
they will be regenerated into Econia nylon yarn, which is the basis of many beautiful new products such as socks, swimwear, carpets, or for example the carpets Hyundai is using in some of the models. Great, that must be very satisfying seeing products made of the nets you have pulled out of the water. Also, being able to connect the public this way, uh, raise awareness, and the products are the messengers, in a way. Great. Thank you so much for helping our environment, Veronica. Great. Thank you for joining. It is important that we all rethink, especially when it comes to recycling of the waste we produce. It cannot be praised highly enough that there are people who take on the serious problem of the pollution in the oceans.